Grace and peace, everybody. Praying all is well with all of you. Today is Wednesday, July the 26th. Yeah, I'll be trying to memorize the dates, but today is July 26th. It is Wednesday, hump day, middle of the week. So, Laisla and I, y'all, let me tell y'all something. Get y'all some saved friends. Get y'all some friends that really care about your well-being, okay? My grill, she back to getting herself together, but she came all the way down to see me and hang out with me. And I'm not gonna say exactly why, but just know she came to see me and she came to spend some time with me and I'm forever grateful. So yeah, so we're taking like a little lunch break. She's been in and out of meetings this morning. We had one together this morning and then I had to do some other stuff upstairs just quickly, but we're getting ready to go have a little lunch break. Mm -hmm. Hi y'all, I missed y'all. <laughs> She's back, period. Yeah. So yeah, so we're gonna ride out for a little bit. I'm gonna show her around town. Just a little bit, it ain't much to see. Show me around your town. It ain't much to see. What is up everybody? Today is July. 20 oh my gosh hold on iso is okay today is july 27th it is a thursday <laughs> and i'm kind of um i was on a long call i was catching up with one of my really good friends i have not talked to her in so long so we were catching up yeah so we were catching up and then i kind of just got myself together because i was getting on another phone call but something happened to the phone so there's that um but I'm actually getting ready to go upstairs, clean up my bathroom, just make it like really nice and polished and fresh. Cause I'm gonna film for a campaign that's due next week, but I'm gonna go ahead and knock it out this weekend. Cause I'm really excited. Cause I'm doing something else this weekend. I'm so excited y'all. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go do that here in a little bit. So I'm gonna take y'all with me while I go clean and just kind of freshen up the house. Um, the house, everything else is pretty much clean. Let me show y'all something. So I told you guys, Laysla is staying with me. When I say she is 
God is like, let me tell y'all something. The way I want to testify about so much is honestly, is like honestly crazy, but let's go upstairs. Okay. So I am back in my room. So my bathroom isn't like crazy dirty, but just know she dirty. <sighs> so a few things just need to be freshened up. I actually need to make my bed. I don't know what I got going on this morning. Didn't even make my bed, y'all. I need some help. As you guys know, I did get my hair done yesterday. I'm gonna put up a video right here. This is what it looked like yesterday, and then this is what it looks like today. I don't know what happened, but yeah. Anyway, so I'm about to clean up a little bit. I just wanna get my bathroom nice and clean. So I purchased these because I get a lot of chin hair, you guys. And with that, I wanted something that was going to kind of rip all of the hairs off at once because usually I pluck it with tweezers. That joint hurts like a mug. Don't recommend doing that, okay? <laughs> I mean, unless you can tolerate the pain, but I'm not with that. That's, that just hurts. I don't like that. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna organize, organize, organize this stuff on another day, not today, but another day. But as of right now, I just wanna get like some things cleared off, <sighs> off of here and just make it nice and neat. I ended up getting me a new thing of Listerine, but basically like mouthwash. Um, love this brand. This is my favorite one, the blue bottle. This one's really, really good, but I got, they had a, um, Target had a really, really, really big one. So I've just been on this thing of like not wanting to run out of stuff. So yeah, so I'm gonna put my other toothbrush under here. And then also I ran out of my Paula's Choice cleanser. So until my other one comes in, I did purchase this CeraVe. Let me know how y'all like the CeraVe. I haven't tried it yet. This is the foam, the cream to foam cleanser. I haven't used this yet, but I hear a lot of good things about this. So I was like, I'll try it while I'm waiting on my other one because this is my favorite cleanser and I am empty. Got me a little trash bag to get the trash. Also, I have a new shower curtain that I need to put up because this one, this one is honestly okay. It just needs to be washed. So I'll probably take that down at some point so I can wash that and like i said everything else is pretty much pretty much okay like i already sweep, swept in here so i just so honestly it's really just kind of cleaning up the toilet area changing out the trash and then wiping off the entire um sink area because i don't know if y'all know like my sink area in here I have a double sink in the in this bathroom in the main bathroom so why is this in here this needs to be in the trash as well. And I tell you, this little tray thing is my, my favorite thing ever. I got it from Home Goods a few weeks ago. And it's so nice. But let this be, let me be a reminder to always go back. Like if you have a prayer jar, go back and look at what you put in your prayer jar. And what I mean by that is some prayers that you put in your prayer jar some prayers that you might even forgot that you prayed or you might even forgot that it was a thing because the lord just came through and blessed you and did away with that thing or added to that thing or whatever the case is y'all there are some prayers that i'm not gonna say i forgot i prayed but just know god is really doing a quick work in my life and if only y'all knew if only y'all knew i'm gonna spray down the sink Woo. what is up you guys oh we are bright as the why is it so bright anyway you guys it is winding down to the end of the day i'm finishing up a little bit of work um you guys it has been such an interesting season such an interesting season like some of my biggest fears have happened or things i guess that i thought was a super huge fear um have happened there's just been a lot that I've had to be okay with. I've had to like just just be okay with, right? And um, it hasn't been fun. It hasn't been the best experience. What I can say is my relationship with the Lord is stronger than ever. My relationship with the Lord is different. And it's really building. It's really building. 
It's really building me. Good morning. Okay, before I even start this vlog, I'm gonna call somebody out. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna call somebody out. I'm feeling ruthless this morning. This I'm morning. choosing violence. Okay, somebody commented and said, food for thought, finish your thought before you go into the next day. And I was like, oop, not y'all. What, what is that? I'm gonna say, not y'all calling me out saying I don't finish my thoughts. Like, y'all, I do that not on purpose, I promise you. Not on purpose. Like, if I'm talking about something, and then, like, when I go back and edit, I find myself rambling. I find myself talking about something that's not really even worth, like, putting in the vlog. So I just cut it off and go to the next day. But this vlog has a couple of those, not gonna lie. But anyway, today is Friday. Today doesn't have that, though. Today. Today doesn't have that, though. Today doesn't have that, though. Today doesn't have that, though. Is that your stomach growling? Yes. Okay, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. It's always uh, growling. Take, take your time. Girl, okay. Talk so, to the gang, talk to the gang. Today is Friday, July the 28th. And um, she's working. I'm trying to handle some adulting stuff, whoopee um, stuff over the computer, got that handled. But today's a super exciting day and y'all won't find out until maybe, maybe in this vlog, maybe not. I don't know. Should we, should we tell them or should we like wait? <sighs> I don't know. Do, do the YouTube girlies get a sneak peek? Does the you do the YouTube girls get a sneak peek? <gasps> y'all will get this. Y'all will get the inside scoop first. I'm not gonna say anything about it on Instagram, mm -hmm. TikTok, or nothing. Y'all are the first to know. So if you're seeing this, okay. If you're seeing this, just know you're the first to know. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cause I don't honestly, I don't even know when I'm gonna post on Instagram. <laughs> Like y'all and my close friends on Instagram will see it. Not the, not the YouTube strategist. Okay, period. <laughs> I love that. But you guys, today's a super exciting day. Y'all, if I could just give y'all the full blast testimony of like the tell, last month. Tell them. Tell y'all, it's just been so much going on. Wait. Yes. Tell them and then put it in the other footage. Why is it so dark? Well, well yesterday you put it down. Yeah, you guys, like this last month, July, let me tell you, July came in with, they didn't even have boxing gloves on. <laughs> July came in with raw fists, punching me left, right, and then some, okay? And it's not cool, but with God, we, we per persevere through, and I'm good. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm I haven't gained any weight. But my, I, I can't remember how the body fat percentage works, whether it's like high is like bad or low or low is bad. I can't remember, but well, basic. So I want as less body fat as I can get that's actually healthy. So last year, I would say like this time last year when I was actually in Texas was the most lean I ever was. And I want to get back to that so bad, but I was one, I was 135 then. I don't know what my body fat percentage was, but I was super lean. Right now, I've lost about four pounds. Not intentionally, it's just that's just how it happened. But um, I'm one, I'm like 130 now. My body fat percentage, I'm not as lean. So I noticed, I'm like, okay, I still have muscle, but I'm just not as lean, and I want to get back to my lean self. So um, I know why I'm not as lean. I know why. Because I started, I started implementing a little more carbs into my diet. Because before I was very strict. And hear me when I say, I think I struggled a little bit with body dysmorphia, so like when I was more lean, I thought I was looking too skinny. And that kind of freaked me out. I was like, I don't want to get, I'm already tiny, like I don't want to be too small. So I kind of just started implementing things that I knew. Because I gained weight very easily, so like for me, I'm like, okay, I, can, I know I can pack on weight if I needed to. And you know how you just start adding stuff to it? Like I still eat pretty well, it's just more carbs there's more bread i don't want all those restrictions the rest of my life just to make sure my abs are as cut up as they can be i don't think it's that serious like i'm not a bodybuilder i don't care i don't care that much anymore <laughs> so i'm doing good in terms of maintaining so i'm okay with that
with you guys. We are in the bathroom. Get ready to get dressed so we can go. We have a little while before we even need to hit the road, but we're gonna start getting dressed. I wonder if my it will fit. Hey, okay. I was wondering if I had an iPad because. <laughs> when I tell you, like, when I tell you, I just threw stuff in here. Ooh, hey, Mario. You really like the Mario Foundation. Mm -hmm. I have one, but it's too dark. Like, it would oh, match really? me. Mm -hmm. If I actually would go somewhere and sit in the sun, it would match. Okay. But I have yet to really do that, so. Foundation, concealer. It's under here somewhere, I think. Okay, I think I got stuff that I need for I'm about to say, if you don't <gasps> have something, I probably Oh, okay, I was like, do I not have mascara? I'm about to say, I got some extra rare. Like, see? But this one is too dark. Dang. So, like, if I wear it... I forgot what it even looks not like. Not even just... I see it. Like, it's not that dark, but it's like... Actually, hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> Why well, don't look... It don't look that bad. Wait. Wait. Maybe because you... It's summertime, like maybe I did get a little dark because this was definitely too dark on me when I maybe I got a little tan somewhere. Maybe I think I mean, even I'm just tripping. when you're driving, like your hands and arms sitting outside, hands and arms won't tan. Yeah, yeah, like compared, Look at the line. compared Look at to your face. Okay, maybe okay, maybe I should pull this back after this. At some point, I am going to clean this out after I ain't gonna do it today, but some stuff is trash. Like this, like Jalen, why is this in here? When I say this is my favorite foundation though, I'll be hanging on to the last dribbity drop. Oh. <laughs> I thought she was reading something. <laughs> no, like Jalen, that's gotta go. Do you oh. like underpainting? Mm-hmm. I do. You like TikTok on me on or TikTok definitely. Oh, 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 oh. Found another one. TikTok definitely put me on to underpainting for sure. Have got I did get darker because these foundations that are dark are looking light. That's this was my I favorite one. Yeah, you <laughs> I'm gonna score some of there. But <laughs> I don't know if, if there's time. I mean, I'm sure there's time if we if there's a mall or a Sephora nearby. Oh yeah. I wanted to go to a Sephora because now this is how you know. This is how you know you really my friend. Because mm -hmm. I don't I don't share this. Now I don't have the tolerance for it. Not even a little bit. Mm -hmm. Whatever. This was like slanted. I'm like, don't, don't that look crooked? It is. All right, you guys. I know y'all have probably seen these a thousand times. These are so-called some kind of like a Bottega dupes. I don't have the first Bottega nothing in my house, but these like little teardrop earrings I think are so cute. And I feel like it just elevates I don't know. I just feel like it elevates a look. Now these, I kind of feel like, are the smaller versions than what I've been seeing online. The ones I've been seeing, they're pretty big. These look kind of small, but I'm not mad at this size just because bigger earrings on me, I don't really, not a big fan of. All right, Leslie, what do you think? Like, where am I going with these earrings on? These give, I don't know. Maybe not, I don't know. I like it. But I feel like if I wear these, I have to be dressy. I don't think so. Like I can't just put on. I don't think so. Because my skims are freshly washed. You already know what I was putting on today. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you I wear skims every day. See, this gives low key like mom. Okay, what if I do it like this? That's cute. Mm -hmm. You could do a cute little low pony. That's what I'm thinking, but I like, when I say I love the little pieces in the front, I can already what tell. What about the little pony with the pieces in the front? Okay. Let's try that. I'm trying to get this piece to not be as tight. I don't know if that works. Yeah. I'm just trying to get it to not be as shriveled. I mean, once we go outside, you know it's going to drop because of the humidity. I can't put it in the middle, bud. Very Ooh. limited. I'm so excited for our road trips next. I'm about to say not the yawn and then say I'm excited for the road trips. <laughs> you better be sleep. I said for the road trips next. No, oh, I'm going to wake up. No, you girl, you should have seen me when I, you were on the phone. I was napping on the couch. I was like, she's gonna come down, I'm gonna be knocked out. But I was just listening to my book. Alright. Okay. <laughs> what in the. Why is. Why is <laughs> it like that? Uh, yeah. That's a little. Yeah, that's a little better. That it gives it the messy look. Because before, just those two pieces looked like little horns. <laughs> mm -mm. 
I think I'm gonna wrap another bow. Okay. I'm gonna do another wrap around. Have you heard that audio? I think I'm gonna do a wrap around. Girl, you hold me on TikTok. <laughs> I have to hear. I think I'm gonna do a wrap around. I think I'm gonna do a wrap around. Okay, I have seen that. I, have I seen think that. I'm gonna do a wrap around. And it came from this. I'm gonna put this. I think I'm gonna do a wrap around. Is he? Wrap around. What is? <laughs> okay, sir. I have no idea. But honey, some the first time I saw this saying or I heard it, somebody has said when I'm in Target with my husband. And she was like, I think I'm gonna do another wrap around the aisles. Mm -hmm. And he was ready to go. He was like, I think I'm gonna do another wrap around. And he was just like, because <laughs> he was ready to go. I thought that was so funny. Okay, you guys, I like this a little better. And I'm only doing my hair like this because my freaking, look at the grouse. <laughs> Girl, I'm you chilling. Camera got you lit up back there. Because <laughs> I'm so pale. I was like blending in the back. <laughs> look at you girl. She's so cute. Get your little boogie boo. Get your boogie girl. Get ready with the girls. I know you want to get it. Where we going? So we going everywhere tonight. We going to just sit in the car. But girl, the car on 2%. Where we going? Oh, <laughs> we got to go to a charger and watch that. Put my seatbelt on for y'all. Cuss me out. Oh, I mean it's on, but y'all. Oh, okay. No, my girls, they want to see the seatbelt. They be like, Jalen, where's your seatbelt? Now we love you now. All right, you guys, so we are officially in the car. We're on the way. We're actually, <laughs> we have like a a little over an hour left of our drive. It's a two-hour ride. Like I took this legit drive um, last vlog, so making it again. Yeah, so we're just sitting in the car. We stopped by Starbucks. Got us some little cake pops, some drinky drinks. We got our snacks. So headed um am I am I telling them now though? <gasps> I've been trying to drop like little Easter eggs, but I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm telling y'all yet. I mean I'm head I mean clearly okay if you watch last vlog then you know where I'm going. Because I made this drive last vlog. So if you know where I was going last vlog then you know where I'm going today. But anyway, we're in route, we're in the car, so I'm gonna hand the camera off to Laysa because I'm driving, obviously, but I had asked Laysa for dating advice. She's a married woman of God, okay? So I trust her wisdom, I trust her, um, her experiences, I trust the things that she's heard from the Lord and the things that God has taught her in her own life and stuff. So I just wanted to hear from her and she already started talking. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> she can teach the rest of us some stuff, okay? So I'm gonna pass it off to my girl. And tell us what you like. What's funny is that this isn't even about to be anything like. <laughs> but no, like whatever. Like, please don't feel the pressure. Like, whatever it is okay. you want to share, Hold because we not get warped. Oh okay. yeah. There we go. Okay. I just ask because just dating. I'm 26, y'all. So like, dating has not been the best experience for me. And dating as a Christian woman can be a little like exhausting. It's hard. You might feel like, dang, like there's not really the type of men that we really need out in the world but I heard somebody else say like don't date with the mindset of scarcity like no there's men out there okay there's men don't let society fool you don't like no I just wanted to hear like some dating advice mm -hmm. from like a marital perspective someone who has lived and someone who has committed to that mm -hmm. and who has waited and and all of those things so I just want to hear from you girl so. okay but I also do want to say like my story is a little different like I wasn't That's like okay. a I wasn't like I wasn't like a I was de I was devoted to the Lord but I wasn't like super like dedicated to the Lord like me and me and the Lord were on like rocky terms um, <laughs> he was off and on yeah like it's like I was going to church I was like dedicated but when it came to like boys and partying wasn't I didn't give that up just yet so start dating this guy um start dating him um and i realized that it started getting serious and i was just like oh no so i literally went to him and this is where i always felt like the lord was just like you just gotta stand strong like it, everything was like like who, who cares about these boys like stand stand strong stand firm so i was just like listen I'm only gonna date somebody serious that goes to church and I went with it and he hadn't he hadn't ever gone to church and his family is Muslim so I went into that conversation like we breaking up right now this is our breakup like 
that's that's it yeah um but i remember hearing from the lord like stand firm stand strong like you're not you're not settling pretty much like mm -hmm. i'm not gonna be like maybe he'll come to church maybe i like maybe i can fix him no not so stand firm he was just like i'll go to church and i was just like uh let's see um and then he ended up going ended up uh building his own relationship so it wasn't like it wasn't like I was out there waiting for my husband and it was just like it just kind of happened for me but anyways I'll just get, tell y'all the same thing Lord told me was stand firm stand strong and like pretty much don't settle and don't get too like what I mean like don't get too excited like don't just like don't don't jump at like the first nice thing a guy says to you like it, like don't be so easily impressed yes with, yes oh my god because when i tell you men know how to spit game that's what they all about <laughs> so it's like they're smooth with their words they know how to manipulate yeah. and men know how to point men know how to spot um i don't want to call them a person weak but men know how to spot a vulnerable woman mm -hmm. like somebody who's vulnerable in that sense where like oh like they can probably they're a little yeah or like that it. like i see that i see you got these insecurities and like let me listen men know men know okay yeah. men know when a woman um hasn't really found her worth yet and yeah. just know how to manipulate it so i would say find your find your worth before men i'm praying for y'all praying for whoever's gonna be praying for Jalen. I, I literally pray for like i i say this wholeheartedly i want everyone to find what i found and better like i like when i tell you that is my prayer for everyone i want every like because that's like that is how amazing like i know my marriage is like I literally want everyone to find what I found it better like and if it could be better like ten times better like I would I would love that for like just anyone like I love seeing healthy marriages and one because no shade to my parents but I come from a broken home my parents you know divorced when I was in middle school so I never really seen healthy like love and even healthy confrontation so there was a lot I had to learn out experiencing it on my own and unfortunately dealing with people who did not have the best interest for me and who mistreated me so I had to learn that stuff on my own but it's like seeing those healthy relationships like my brother like I was telling her before too like my brother and his wife like I love seeing healthy marriages and it's not by any means they walk into it super healthy like I know they have their own testimony mm -hmm. they had to work to get there put in that work, work. make that commitment work. and are still continuing to make that daily commitment mm -hmm. how you feeling y'all my stomach is in the seat <laughs> it's not even in my body anymore look at the Tesla oh my god we're pulling up like you can't see the dealership right now but like we make this turn and it's right behind there <laughs> Yo, my stomach hurts so bad. I mean, that's probably because of the sugar I've had, but... <laughs> Could be the nerves, too. <laughs> it's definitely the nerves. I definitely got the BGs right now. The bubble guts. <laughs> but I'm so excited. I'm super late to my appointment. My appointment was at 4. We're 15 minutes late. I legit thought I was going to beat the time maybe by 10 minutes, but no, ma'am. We're, we're a strong 15 minutes late. Um, clean this stuff up. What? Just like... Oh, the stuff in the car. That way it's just easy. Okay. Woo! Oh, this is new fun. beginnings. This is so exciting, guys. Blessing you. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of you. Woo! Lord knows you earned it. Woo! Did I? Yes, you did. Shut up. Did I? Shut know? your mouth. The... Oh yeah. Okay. Way to do it. Okay. Well, at least you could see. Oh my God. I don't even know where <sighs> she's at. <gasps> <gasps> I'm getting too excited. I'm getting too excited. Okay, Lacey. I'm getting too excited, Lacey. I'm getting too excited. Oh, now you excited. I'm getting too excited, Lacey. I got the bubble goods. <laughs> I do. I think that's it. Uh, Jayla, how do you know? It's charging. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you I think that's it. Oh, my goodness. Jesus Christ. Man, but I got some sense. For real. It is hot as fire in here. Woo. 
This woman? I am so, I don't know. Um, just whoever's in there. Oh. Um, delivery check-in. Yep. Oh. Mm. Scan to sign up for free. Something to send to me, it'll come to me. Yeah. And not just, you know. Nope, that's super important. <laughs> Yo, I am so jittery. <laughs> like my signature is ugly today. I'm so jittery. <laughs> Look at my E. Signature. What is that? Why am I not writing my E like this? Signatures, I think, it, think about it, it's just like a scribble. <laughs> well, I take pride in my signature. Oh, like, I, I, get, I get it from my mom. I'm literally, <laughs> And if I sign multiple things, it just gets progressively worse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I can't say that. Yeah. Is it black? It is, is it this one? Yes. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Jalen. I'm about to I'm about to throw up, Lisa. Jalen. I don't even know how to cut it. Oh no, I can't cut it on. Well it is on. Right? It should be. Okay. They said I can lay it right here. Pick up service. Hold on, what air it? Hold on. Yeah, how do we make the air oh, strong? Heck. Hold on, yo. Okay, man. Oh. There it is. Okay. gag right now. Ayo. Is this tinted? Yeah, it is. Oh my god. Seats are comfy. Seats are comfy. Not me matching. Mm -hmm. This is insane. God. Lord. Oh my god. First, give an honor to you, Jesus. I'm not going to do anything Amen. but other than give you Praise Amen. for this, Amen. God. I would not be able to, to do any of this without your hand, without your help, God. Amen. Thank you so much, Lord. Amen. Ooh, amen. Amen. Girl, I can't even do Look, I can't even put the. <laughs> what a kid. No. Oh. Ain't oh. no Pringle up in here. Embarrassing. Oh my gosh. This is so crazy. Let me go and adjust my seat. That's all I need right here. You did it. Y'all, this is crazy. Get set up. This is crazy. This is crazy. Car, car key. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought of 2023? This is a car key. Mm -hmm. I have no words. Ready? Three, two, one. Rip me out the plastic. <laughs> so yours, girl. What? Why did yours rip over that? I, <laughs> mine did not come off, honey. What? <laughs> what? Wait, why is mine not coming off? What the heck? All right, y'all, testing out what I look like in here. Wide angle me, please. Girl, see now this is dangerous <gasps> right here. I don't oh, know. Girl, one little break, your your honey camera gonna be up there. Yeah. <sighs> we did it. Wait, can't this? Mm mm. Oh, this one stays like mm -hmm. that. Okay, okay. We did it. Um, I had to give honor to God first, of course. Is that a crack? Uh-uh. I'm about to see. Look, I'm over here trying. Shout y'all out. Hang on. Let me see if this is a crack. I'll be there. Give me time. Oh, no. It cut off and I'm yeah. here. Oh! Is this gonna lock on me? Huh? Is it gonna lock on me? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, just oh, like don't, yeah. <laughs> Y'all, I got a lace with girl. It's a little dark, but I brought her to the studio so she it's can so see. It's so cute. It's so freaking dark in here. It's so cute though. But like oh, the windows. Mm hmm. The windows are oh, my favorite. Mm hmm. So you open up the windows the here. Is so good. 
So when I say I love this space, oh, and, uh, I love this couch. So that's the couch. These are like, so when I say I got like extra furniture, so I've got two of these. So, oh, that is super cute. Mm -hmm. Then, so like my theme in here is green, like accents of green. So like that's why I loved the couch. <sighs> Literally still got the tag on this couch too, I think on the back. Really? <laughs> mm -hmm. I never, yeah, I never it's took it off. So Look, cute. got it from article. I just never took it off. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not too much furniture in here, but where you can like move stuff around. So if you want to move mm -hmm. bed, if you want to use these chairs, like there's mm -hmm. things. And then of course, all the backdrops. Watch this. This was a really cool feature that I loved. Which one is up front? Oh. Mm -hmm. So it's taped, so I ain't gonna move it too much. But like all of them, all of them move. What the heck? Mm -hmm. So I got a little remote thing for that. The one right in front of you. Oh, yeah, that's my that seat. So what happens is it's like so. Think of it as like a tripod. Mm -hmm. So these little end pieces will screw into the camera. Mm -hmm. So, mm. so with it in here, so imagine if I want to get an overhead shot of me doing something legit, gotcha. it'll sit on here. I put the camera here and I can be up under it and it's going to get that gotcha. shot. So yeah. tripods like this can't do that. So you get a C stand. So it's like a multi-purpose thing. Like this is yeah. used for, it can be used for lights. It can be used for stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That big light, you would use a C-stand for that. So that big light goes on here. So it's just like a multi-purpose situation. Like I can put this camera on there and it would just get like, uh -huh. if it's set, it would just get like that overhead shot. It would just be interesting. It would just yeah. be cool to get stuff like that. So, but yeah, but this is the studio. This is it. So it's not too much, but it's, I love this space so much. So <laughs> All right, y'all. Ooh, real quick. If y'all listen to Dante Bowie, hear me out. Dante Bowie? Oh, I thought it was Bowie. I thought it was Bo. Oh, Dante Bowie, <laughs> Dante Bowie, um, whoever. Mm -hmm. He came up with an album, you guys. And it's like, I guess it's like a Christian album, but then it's kind of like mm -hmm. not, but it's like positive music. I like it. I like the album, it's really good. I don't know what it's called. I guess it's like self, oh, it's self name. So it's mm -hmm. just Dante Bowie. Wait, Dante Bo. No, it's oh it is. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Self self name. Um so yeah, so we're getting ready to go up here. Um we're gonna take a picture because y'all can y'all believe which is why we still have on the same thing. It's a brand new day. <laughs> Our clothes are clean. Mm -hmm. um, we, washed we washed them again. But um out of all the content and like just video stuff that she captured yesterday that I got, the little that I got, no picture. Then take the one picture. So we're gonna go. I'm trying to think. Yeah, we can do that. I was thinking if there was somewhere else that might be cuter. Wait, there is. Laysla. Do people call you Lele? No, that'd be a first. I'm gonna call you Lele, if that's okay. No? I can rock with it. Okay. Oh, because I almost I said it just now and I was like, wait, I don't know if anybody's called you that. I don't want to call no, you that's something. that's the first. Lele. Lay okay, that's cool because then that's like original to you. Lele, that's cute. Lele, like Lele. Okay. There is another one. I might like that one a little more. It's actually a block down. Do I want to go to that one? I'm going to try this one because this one is a little higher though because that one you uh, go down. Yeah. yeah. Like okay. BRB, we're ready to go to the destination and see what we found the spot. We found the spit out. I'm about to sit y'all up so mm -hmm. we can get this little picture because I think it's just going to be iPhone style. Mm -hmm. Okay. No biggie, no biggie. We also do some pictures like videos, pictures to like a real too. Okay. So I'm going to just sit y'all up. How's it looking? How's it looking? It's so hot, girl. I feel like yesterday. Where's the car? Now I'm in the way. You don't see it? <laughs> oh, now I do. <laughs> oh. Wait, is it too exposed? Is it overexposed? Oh, is it? Well, well for one, it ain't focused. There we go. <laughs> okay. So, this is what I was thinking. I'm going to put it in the Y'all, this heat don't even make no, no sense. My, when my arm, when I was, my arm is burning. See? Oh God, thank you for the air. 
Oh, actually, we can cock this down a little bit. My Jesus. Okay. Just <laughs> find me up. Find me up. Oh, thank you. It must be real. Huh? Oh, you have to find it at, like you have to do it at that time. Mm -hmm. It's not late. Oh my goodness. Remember my mana. Huh? I like that part. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, my, it might actually sit up a little bit. Maybe not while I'm driving, but. Mm, I think if you do it like, oh no. Mm -hmm. I wanted it to. Nope. Nah, this leg is. <laughs> oh, dang it. Thought we were on to something. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So we got something. I don't know how it looks like. My phone is overheating, so the screen is very dark. So oh my gosh. I know. Cause what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit. Um, I'm gonna edit out like the little symbols and stuff. Cause I don't really know what these buildings mean. Ooh, I like that angle. Mm. Ooh, this might be it. Yeah, it might be this one. My caption gonna be the little girl from Gretna is screaming right now. It does not oh, smell like. Man. Why would it smell like weed in here? She don't smoke, and neither do I. Um, this is it. Hello, Santa and Sage. Is that you? Yep. Grace and peace, everybody. Happy Sunday. I'm trying to get y'all to stand up. My this tripod. Is, black cherry Malay. is that one yeah. mine as well? Yeah, these are mine. Sorry. Mom gifted and me a. Musk. Hopefully, y'all caught. Girl, this is what you're smelling. This smells like weed. Oh, well. Yeah. But hopefully, you guys caught it because it's definitely over now, I think. But the candle sale. Oh, it's over now. Sorry. Yeah, it's definitely over now. But <laughs> candle sale. They had the three wick candles for like twelve ninety five. You know, y'all know they are usual like twenty twenty six. Y'all see what my tripod doing? Y'all just anyway. Now hear me out. Someone did call this out about just be mindful of like the names and stuff, like where they originate from. Y'all know I ain't into no witchcraft. I just like the smell, especially. Okay. But this yeah. right here. I love this. Ten out of ten. That is amazing. I'm almost down to my last couple I love scrapes. Makeup. I'm gonna come by and borrow a little bit no. of that. From Rare Beauty. Yeah. Mom likes Rare Beauty, y'all. Huh? Well, I said I'm gonna try it. So yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, oh yes, I was out of this. Oh honey, I just bought me a big bottle just like that of the of the 40. 40 is my favorite, it's the pink one. Not, oh, the, really? not the light pink, but the other pink. I have the same. Ah! What? But you guys, I don't know what's wrong with my voice. My voice is a little scratchy today. These are, um... So you just gonna ride with me over there? Mm-mm, mm because -mm, I'm gonna keep on going. Oh, what time, Mandy? Gonna be ready. I want to ride the car with. Oh, you're gonna have to ride me another day. This is um, milk. Oh, I know, girl. Why would you get this itty bitty one? It's a gift. Oh, y'all, mom got her some of that milk. Milk makeup hydro grip. Oh, <gasps> wait, no, let me see. Y'all, look what Sephora gave her. My point. Got this it. is the refi brush that's super viral, so. I don't even know what I'm getting, honey, guys. <laughs> she, she hip with it. Thank you. You're hip, okay. Thank you, girl. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give me another tripod. This yeah, thing is. Oh, but then they gave me some, oh, the little blushes, different blushes. Oh, cute. Yeah. Look little, at it. That's a gift, and then this is a gift. Um, some shower gel. Look at it, just a fall. No, actually, that brush wasn't a gift. I actually purchased that. You actually purchased it. Yes, Got it. because I was like, mm, I like that brush. Let me tell y'all something. I'm cutting out sugar completely yep. for the most part. But let me tell you, I went by Wendy's today just to give me a little okay. last minute whim of it. You need to go on over there so you can. Sometimes they'll take you before you they ready. Three o'clock, she be ready. Well, let me give you ready. Give me another one. What? I'm gonna name a butterfly one right there going into my name. Oh, show the show the vlog your tattoo. Get into it, get into it. Ain't it cute, y'all? So it's a butterfly. My mom is obsessed with butterflies and she got my light, my salvation because it is the scripture for Psalms. What is 27, it? 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall, shall I fear? Shall I fear? Glory be to God. Yeah. 
<laughs> glory, glory, glory. They put the little bandage thing on her wrist to like, they said it's like a new thing they're doing. Like a new skin. So you guys, I went out when I got my new car. I was in a new area, so definitely had some shopping centers. I've never went into Fabletics. Nice. So while I was in there, of course, I had to look out for my mom. I, they had a lot of options, so I went with the safe route, because I know how you are. It's a gift for you. Now, this was what you left, a card for somebody. Yeah. I almost threw it away. Yeah. But then this is the one that Dad wanted you to give to family. Thank you. Okay, let's see your gift. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I do need to leave in a little bit. Ooh, let's see. So a nice little workout top, because you know Fabletics nice is at top. leisure. Yeah. Look at the front detail. Cute little like twisty cute, turn. Cute, cute, I love it. Wow, put it on a dirty box to have. I'm sorry. Black stains from shipment. Oh, look at the pants. So I figured those would be cute and comfy to wear. Cute. Like for work or if you want to wear it like, yeah. I love them, thank you. Can't even see it because of the bag. I love them, <laughs> thank you so much. Would you like to keep the Fabletics Look, bag? Yes, definitely, so. most definitely. Wanted to look out for you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I love those pants. They're so soft. They're very soft. They're so good. soft. All right. So yeah, guys, I'm getting ready to go get. I know you guys. Oh, Avery, I'm so excited. Speak to your grandchild. Speak to you. You was jumping all over my feet. Speak to you, honey. So you guys know I have this tattoo right here. Even if you didn't notice, I have a tattoo right here. But um, I'm going to get it. Not covered up, but fixated to where it makes sense because it was a matching tattoo. Um, so I'm gonna go like get it kind of worked on a little bit. So that's what I'm headed to do real quick, just that way this is no longer sitting like that. So yeah, Avery, get ready to go, mamas. I love you. And yeah, grace and peace, you guys. I think I got y'all zoomed out. What's up, you guys? I just got to the tattoo shop. So let's go see about this tattoo real quick. And I'll bring you guys along. No Vaseline or anything. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. She said how dare she don't have her nails done. I'm so sorry. You're fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This thing, yeah. this thing, mm -hmm. I see. That's what you were saying, like not even the edges. Grace and peace, and good morning, everybody. Praying all is well with all of you. You guys, oh hold on. Today is Monday, July thirty first. Today is the last day of July. Oh my goodness. Let me tell y'all something. I don't know if I'm coming down with something, but like. <laughs> I'm kind of losing my voice, kind of not, but kind of, not really sure why, <clears throat> so, um, there's that, so as I'm talking, like, just, you know, and through, through this day, and however long it's gonna be like this, hopefully it won't be like this for long, because I don't like it, <clears throat> but I think I am kind of coming down with something, I'm not sure yet, but we'll see, anyway, hope you guys are doing well, yeah, it's Monday, I'm excited to start the week, I'm excited to knock out some campaigns, knock out some work, knock out some other things that I want to get done that didn't get done last week. Let me tell you something about God's healing power. <clears throat> last week was a hard week, okay? Last week was a hard week, but God, for so many ways, for so many reasons, you know, God allowed my week to end completely different than how it started. And... I just am so grateful I'm just you know what I'm saying and and I just I just want to always continue to testify because there's so many things that could be so many different ways oh I thought it was a traffic backup right here but yeah like there's so many things that could happen there's so many you know trials so many things that could happen and when I tell you like last week I would I didn't have it and y'all know how I say I ain't got it I ain't got it a couple of days last week I didn't have it I had let me stop saying that I had it I just had to find it I just had to tap into it amen and um, it took me a little minute to tap into it and to find it 
and to knock seek and um, you know last week was a little hard for me I had to take a mental day from work and just all these different things but when I tell you <clears throat> get you some friends that will call you that will check in on you you do the same for your friends call them check on them go see them you know and my friend Laysla she came down all the way from where she resides and that just really just did so much for my spirit it did so much for my heart and it did so much for me period um and it was just a lot and i was so grateful so 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 grateful so because of that i feel like i am in much better spirits today i feel like i'm in much better um i'm just ready for the week i'm just ready for the week i was a little stressed out last week i had a few things adulting things to take care of that were giving me some anxiety that was like stressing me out a little bit and stuff so for that i wanted to make sure i had got a handle on that stuff and i did glory be to god so like i said i feel like i'm starting the week off I feel like i'm starting the week off pretty good yeah with that being said i'm headed to the gym <clears throat> i was like i need to get a workout in and i'll be honest with you last week me being out of it and stuff i ate what i wanted i had so much sugar you guys and when i tell you sugar is just not good for the body like i was reminded as to why i had cut back on so much sugar and when i tell you i felt terrible all week even though i was like eating what i wanted and just kind of having that moment or whatever it was like why even why even indulge in those things and it's gonna make you sick yeah that stuff made me sick no lie <laughs> so i am over sugar right now i'm so over like obviously some things will have some sugar but like just that that natural sugar i can do like the natural sugar that's in fruit and stuff but that artificial the artificial sugar i can't do that no more i cannot but i will tell you guys one thing that i did indulge in and then i'm gonna let you go well i'm gonna head to the gym but cake pops cake pops from starbucks y'all i had no idea that those joints were that good i had my first cake pop however long starbucks has had them i've never had a cake pop until a couple days ago and i've had two more since then they are so good but they are so they are full of sugar man and it's ridiculous like i cannot do that to myself so because of that i'm like yeah this week we're back on the ground we're back like i can't i can't i don't care i can't like just that sugar and stuff just made me feel so sick so i'm trying to come out of that just drinking a bunch of water all the things and i'm um, going back to my meal plan this week because like i said when lisa came into town we ordered pizza we went um while we were out and about we had some chick-fil-a and y'all already know chick-fil-a makes me sick i love the food but like it legit makes me sick and i ate it anyway and felt sick i'm like i do it to myself every single time so i can't be mad at nobody but me so but anyway y'all <laughs> i hope y'all are feeling well this morning whenever you may be watching today's vlog if you watch i'm trying to figure out if this is going to be part of i'm gonna just have to do another outro thank you guys for all the love on my new baby i am so happy and excited i got this car i've been sitting on this for a minute it's been a lot of praying a lot of asking the lord about it to make sure and god gave me the green light he confirmed it in so many ways because like even when i first got the first confirmation i was like mm, i don't know i want to make sure it's not me just wanting it but i'll be honest like even though i wanted the car it wasn't like a burning desire that i had to have it it was just like i'm gonna just see and god made a way god confirmed it in so many ways that it was time that i was that it was okay for me to get it if i wanted to get it and for that for that i'm just so happy and excited so i love this car i've been enjoying it so far and um and yeah yeah just got to the gym so i'm about to park and then i will see you guys when i get upstairs oh, it's okay that'll work but it ain't because it's this is this part not down here Oh God, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Be lifted Be lifted. I can't even sing. Oh, when we cry holy. Oh, that's what's Let me not forget.
She almost bit me in the face, y'all. All right, you guys, we, well, I am back home. I have been editing and I'm getting ready to go shoot a campaign, so I gotta go get myself together. I gotta get myself together cause I've got some place to go. No, seriously, I'm getting ready to go get myself together cause I have a um, couple of campaigns I'm gonna shoot today. I have one major campaign and then I have one smaller campaign, but both are major because they are both Blessings from the Lord. So listen, um, I'm gonna go do that, but I wanted to officially close out the vlog, but also of course give you guys all of the love and appreciation that I could possibly give you in this moment. I just wanna say thank you guys for watching me. Thank you guys for sticking around for so long. I watched, I mean, I watched. I was looking through some comments the other night and it was a handful of people and it was kind of like over a couple of different videos where people were saying like I've been watching you for years I've been watching you since you were in college I've been watching you since like all these things and I'm just like wow like I really have kind of grown up with a lot of you on here y'all have watched my life from just whenever I started till now and I'm just so grateful to be able to share my life to this capacity with all of you guys and just be some source of like inspiration internet friend sister in Christ something just to let you know, like there's another woman out here that loves the Lord and that is in life just like you are. And there's so many of you that I get inspired by and just to be, you know, a part of the number um, in terms of, you know, on this platform, being able to share my life is just a beautiful thing. It's a blessing and it's something that I know the Lord made room for all of us to be able to do. I never, never, never want to take you guys for granted. I never, doing what I do, I, don't, I, I never take lightly. So that's why I try to make sure everything is the best quality that I can get and just all of the things. So that's why even though I called it out even though like comments like that about like not finishing my thought it's like I try not to get offended about things but also it's like okay like it's feedback that's not tip top positive but it's also like something I can just keep in mind like okay like y'all want me to finish my thought like it might not be that deep but it's like I hear you I get it and it's something I'll work on because I want you guys to enjoy the content that I post and that you guys watch and invite into your space and into your heart and mind and all the things so with all that being said thank you guys for your support your endless support through all of this it is it is it is amazing it is and the whole story, which I could share that another time, but the whole story behind getting the new car and everything was crazy because if you guys watched, I believe the vlog was last year. I ordered a Tesla last year and the Lord, I heard, <clears throat> I had to wait six months to even get it back uh, last year because the chip shortage and everything, it was a really, really long wait time for Teslas last year. So when I ordered mine last year, um, maybe like a month or so before I was gonna take delivery, I heard the Lord tell me to cancel it. And um, and I canceled it and I, and I was obedient and I canceled it and just full circle moment, you know, like a year later asking the Lord, could I get it now? You know, those type of things and still having to wait on the Lord's answer and all those things like me getting it now made so much more sense, which again, I can go into full fledged detail a little bit later on like the details of it, but just know this time it made sense and the wait was worth it and all i can say is just be obedient and wait on the lord um and yeah so even though i had to wait i had to cancel it i won't happy about having to cancel it but i trusted the lord and getting it now makes so much more sense and all the things so when i tell you i'm so happy um i'm, I'm a lot of things right now i'm still trying to soak it in uh, at the fact that i have one of my dream cars i don't have many dream cars trust me i don't have many dream cars but this was one of the cars that i've uh dreamed of getting for probably like the last 
two years like I saw other people getting it and I'm like this is so techie like I'm a techie girl I like cameras I like gadgets I like computers iPads all the things so I'm a very techie girl and for me I'm just like this car would just be so befitting for me right now and where I'm at in life so I'm just like you know what like you know so anyway so I've had my eye on it for a while and then when I got to the point of just even seeing that a Tesla was an option for me to even look at in terms of a new car was just a blessing because I remember the first time when I went to test drive it I was just so excited that I was like I'm not just test driving it just for the heck of it like I'm test driving it because it's an option. It's, it's a car option that I could get if I wanted to. But the fact that I can go look at a Tesla and it be an option, it's the fact that it's hey. an option. Hey God, it's the fact that it's an option is why I'm like ready to do backflips up and down this parking lot. So me being so excited about it back then and then the Lord telling me to cancel it, I was like, oh man. But I canceled it and the Lord brought it back and he brought it back better than ever, like better deal, better everything. And I'm just like, thank you, Lord. So I just wanted to say, of course, give my gratitude to the Lord first, but I also, it would not be right unless I thanked you guys for your support because without your support, of course, I really wouldn't even be able to be doing this stuff. So God made a way. God blessed me with amazing supporters that are so consistent and that are so loving. You guys are the best. And yeah, so I'm still trying to soak it in. Even when I like I look outside and I can see my car, I'm just like, that's crazy. <laughs> but um, at the end of the day, we're not idolizing this stuff, but I, but it is a blessing and um and I'm and I'm very grateful. I'm very 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 grateful. And I really appreciate you guys sticking with me, watching me, supporting me, all the things. And I just want to make sure I tell you guys that and y'all are the best. So, with that being said, I love you guys. I'm getting ready to like I said, I'm getting ready to shower, get myself together to film this campaign so I can get that submitted uh, cuz I do have family coming in town today. So that's super exciting. And, um, and yeah, so I will see you guys later on. So of course, as always, if you're new, I'm Jay. Welcome. If you're not new, I thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love each and every one of you to know. And of course, until next time, God willing, I'll see y'all in my next video. Also, make sure you guys go to my Instagram. I want, I told you guys, I'm showing y'all here first. So if you're watching this like right now, it might not even be posted because again, I want the YouTube girls to see it first. I told you I was gonna tell y'all first and I kept my word. So I might even wait. So it might not be up right now. Just But if you are watching it like maybe a day later, then it should be up. But I did post a reel cause Laysla, she got a bunch of content for me. Like just within like signing the documents and all that stuff. Um, so the reel is kind of funny, I guess. I don't know. I'll try to be funny. I don't know. Anyway, there is a reel that you guys can go and support as well um, if you want to. But of course, I love you guys so much. I am forever grateful for you guys. So I will see you guys in my next video. And let me know if y'all want a car tour. I'll do that. I'll let me know if y'all want to see like the inside and see like I haven't bought any accessories yet. Avery is waiting to go get fed. I'm sorry. I haven't bought any accessories yet, but if you guys want like a car tour or just see like the things that I'm going to buy for it, that type of thing, let me know. If you, especially if you're interested in getting a Tesla and you just kind of want to see more details on it and all of the like, if you're like into the specs and stuff like that, um, I have no problem doing that. Of course, I would love to do that so y'all can see it. But um, other than that, yeah, I love y'all. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.